Hey everyone, so this video is going to be like a, a just kind of showcasing my most used or um, you know my old reliable makeup and beauty products. The stuff that I go back to again and again that I keep repurchasing so you know that they're stuff that you know I, I rely on so I, have, I obviously really think highly of them and um, I'm a creature of habit so even though like I love trying out new makeup and stuff like that there's certain things that I do really rely on and I always go back to so I'll quickly dive into them. I'll start off with um, skincare. Um, the first thing would be my simple baby wipes here. I mean, I go through these like no one's business. I easily pick up a pack um, on a weekly basis every two weeks. I use them for everything. I go through them in my kit just constantly and I use these always for taking off my makeup. Um, they're, I find them kinder and softer on my own skin and eyes than any of the makeup wipes out there. So these ones in particular, it's the simple baby ones because there's no alcohol, fragrance or any of that kind of stuff in, in them. Um, and they're the only ones that I... 100% like absolutely adore so that's those and you get tons of them in it and it's only like two something two two euro something then the other guys would be a lot more expensive I suppose um, in comparison the thermal water spray is something I go back to again and again this is one by La Roche-Posay I have used um, the ones by Avene and the Vichy one as well I think the La Roche-Posay one is on the cheaper side though this one is nine euro um, similar to say Max Fix Plus spray and stuff like that which I go through as well but I just have none in front of me at the moment um, I've no bottles at the moment I think I've about three of them in my empties um, but definitely thermal water spray I love it another Vichy product would be this um, uh, what's it called the micellar solution so this is like kind of like a water it looks like a water cleanser but it takes off um, eye makeup and face makeup and it's really really good it's very soothing it what does it say it's very sensitive for skin and eyes and I love this it's a little bit like the new um, mineralize uh, MAC cleanser which would be a similar solution this I'm on my second bottle and I'll definitely be going on to my third and fourth well actually I'm on my second and a half because I did have a small one I so absolutely love that and um, so I just use that with a cotton pad uh, this would be the from the same range it's their um, eye makeup remover so this is one of those dual phase ones where you have to shake yeah. it up mix up and then it takes off anything it really will budge any kind of waterproof makeup or anything like that or any of those hard to remove ones it's really gentle on the eyes as well so that's why I love this and this one is 13.75 but a lot of the times with them um, in the places where I get them like in Matt Flaherty's or in McLaughlin's pharmacy here in Ireland or in Boots you tend to get like good uh, deals going on with um, a lot of the Vichy stuff so that's why I usually buy in bulk then. Um, I love this Vichy um, sunblock for combination to oily skin. I had it in the 30 Capital Sole, or the 30 SPF, it's the Capital Sole one for ages so I got it in the 50 one again. So I use this more than any of my other sunblocks really. It does keep the skin fairly matte, it works as a really nice makeup base and I'm you know protected from the sun when I have it on so uh, you know not at all greasy it's really wearable and very comfortable on the skin so I can't remember how much those are um, in the teens roughly but it's relatively fair enough I don't remember it being too expensive then I have for primers I'm on a new MAC um, skin based primer this is just your basic run of the mill um, kind of generic primer but I really really like it and it does give a bit of lift to the skin I'd say I'm on my third or fourth one of this now Another primer, um, and these cost about 26 euro here in Ireland. Um, this Studio Secrets primer by L'Oreal. I um, have two of these now. I got my first one, loved it so much, and then when I wasn't even that far down on my first one, I did get a second one. Um, and luckily I did because I can't find these anymore in Ireland and um, I nearly finished this one so I really really love this and I do tend to use it more than most of my other anti-shine primers can't remember how much it was because it was a while ago since I got it but um, I think it's quite a good one it'd be similar to like the matte um, matte cream by MAC um, and a few other ones like that so moving on to makeup um, I'd say my most repurchased foundation would be this guy which is the bourgeois healthy mix foundation I think since um i discovered this however long ago i'm on my third bottle so it's very good for my skin tone um as in it's yellow based and it's very good for my skin type um it's good for combination oily skins it is quite mattifying it's quite long wearing it's just a really lovely foundation kind of medium buildable coverage and um i think it might have been around 13 14 euro I can't remember exactly but it's one that I really really love so um, I'll probably always go back to that that's the only foundation but I have a couple of concealers I go back to I say I'm on my 
second full one of the NW20 of this for underneath my eyes. Um, I've used this for years now since I was young enough um, as an under eye concealer. It's the Select Cover Up by MAC. It's a really nice uh, concealer for under the eyes because it's very nice coverage without being over cakey and it is a liquid one but it's like a thick enough liquid so it doesn't tend to go into the lines and stuff that much. Um, this will cost about 17 or 18 in Ireland and MAC is available in Brown Thomas stores in Ireland, in the south of Ireland, or in the Republic of Ireland rather, and in north of Ireland it's in Debenhams. A lot of people are um, asking is it available in Ireland and yes it is. So then um, I actually have a couple of these concealers which a lot of people haven't seen before. They're called the Pro Palette Concealers. So it's from um, like those makeup supplier places where you can, you know, you can buy the makeup and then you just put your own name on the brand. This one here was by Screen Face. I also have one from All In Professional and um, I had another brand as well. So yeah, it's just really handy. It has the salmon colour. It has kind of a sandy colour and a yellow colour. So you have a colour to conceal most of the discolorations on the face and you can mix and match a bit through between all of them. Um, it is a little, a little bit on the richer side, so richer side, so it might need a bit of powdering, but um, it's one I do go back to, so I really like that. Another concealer, I'm on my second one. Now this is the Vichy Derma Blend. Um, this was in a different kind of pot before and I had it when I was good bit younger, like when I was a teenager, maybe, no, maybe early 20s, and I loved it. And then Vichy took over Derma Blend, or they amalgamated or whatever happened in Europe, and then they reformulated it, and they came, brought it out in stick form, and it did get improved on immensely, and it's an unreal product, like it's the best concealer I'd say I've come across, um, definitely for correction and for coverage and stuff like that. Um, so. I have this in a few different colours and this is the one I use myself all, all the time. It's the number 12 Opal. So there's loads in it and it's really not that expensive. Um, I would definitely consider quality wise Vichy to be a higher end brand. Like it's a really high quality brand. Um, I, I'm very fond of French brands anyhow but the price of this isn't that ridiculous at all. It's in the teens I think. So um, again you get this in Matt O'Flaherty's or Boots and places like that in Ireland. Um, another concealer would be this one here. I've only discovered this maybe last year. It's the, um, this one's one that I've overused, but it's the Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection Concealer. Um, I would say that it's very, very similar to the MAC Select Cover Up, but this only costs six euro. It comes in like this kind of wand style here. Um, number two is what I use, which would be very, very similar to, say, NW20 here. Great again for under the eye, has a pink tinge to it. Um, yeah, very similar in colour to that and it just covers really well throughout the day. Um, it, it's definitely turned into my holy grail under eye concealer so I really really love that. Um, as far as powders go, the one that I constantly go back and repurchase and I think I'd have, um, when I finished my third one there, I didn't, haven't got a new one yet. Um, it's the Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC. Now this one is the medium but it's the light one that I normally use but I do have all the other colours in my kit. I love it because it's not like a flat matte powder. Um, it just gives a beautiful finish to your foundation especially if you do use foundations for maybe combination oily skin where they're maybe on the uh, matter side. You don't want to overly matte on top of it. This is one I'd highly recommend. So um, this is 26 or 27 euro here in Ireland. Then as far as mascaras go, the one I've repurchased definitely more than any other mascaras would be um, my Masterpiece one by, uh, by Max Factor. So I have like, this is the Masterpiece one, this is the Masterpiece Max and I, I'd say I've gone through like over over the last few years I would have gone through about four Masterpiece Maxes and numerous little um, samples that you'd get for free from Boots for different things. Um, they're not the cheapest in the world when it comes to high um, to drugstore brands. I think you're paying still about 15, but they're worth it. They're just as good, if not better, than any of the higher end brands. Um, really love this mascara, and it's one that I do always go back to, even though I try out a million different mascaras. For my eyebrows, I always go back to this one because it only costs three euros. Um, it's the Collection 2000 Clear Mascara. This is my yucky one that I use on my eyebrows the whole time. So it's got a bit of like eyebrow powder in it or whatever. And there's the new one, but um, it just holds really well and it doesn't leave that white kind of flaky residue that some clear mascaras can use. And it actually does keep your eyebrow hairs in place because some of them aren't that strong. Um, 
and yeah so I get this from Boots and it probably is only available here in UK and Ireland I'm not sure if it is available overseas but um, I do love it and I, I've gone through numerous ones of those so they're brilliant then as far as eyeshadow goes there's not too many eyeshadows that I would have repurchased because I have a gazillion eyeshadows but one that I have gone through and I think I'm on my third one but this is over a long time and I think I broke one of them as well is this number 8 eyeshadow um, by Bourgeois Ombre à Popier. so it's just this beautiful pearly gorgeous eyeshadow it's like the most perfect amount of opalescence that I like my highlighters to have I use it for um, highlighting my face as well as my <coughs> excuse me as well as my brow bone and anywhere else where I want a little, little bit of a highlight and I've gotten this as a present for people before so really really love this available from Boots as well here in Ireland um, the last few makeup bits I have then would be my most repurchased um, gel eyeliner would be my black track fluid line by MAC a lot of people say that they have a problem with this drying out I've never in my life had a problem with that but I am really pedantic about keeping the lid on it really really tightly and then if I'm working with it um, and do my eye makeup I never leave it just like lying flat like this with the pot open even for like five minutes I constantly turn it upside down like this on the table make sure the table's clean so that air isn't getting into it and it doesn't dry up for me like that still a really good formula gel eyeliner and I just get a really nice fluid like application with it and it's one like I said I do always go back to and it's quite fairly priced I think it's about 17 euro as well or 18 euro so really really love that and also when it comes to black say coal eyeliners I'll always have about three or four either smolder or felines which are just black eyeliners uh, feline is that much blacker than the smolder smolder is a little bit more of a blue black but I always have like numerous of these in my makeup bag in my kit and just on my desk because I go through with them just so quickly I'd use them obviously on the waterline and I use them say smudged over um, my eye uh, eyelid or around the lash line um, for a smoky eye and then pack eyeshadow on top of them so definitely those they're about 17 euro from the MAC countries in Ireland um, the last makeup products really would be um, my subculture lip liner this is the only lip liner that I like constantly rebuy over and over now I think I've uh, repurchased pr brick which is a red lip liner once, um, so I, like I said I'd be on my second one of that um, for personal use. I'm trying to talk about the ones that I just use on personal use by the way, not in my kit because I'd obviously go through stuff in my kit a bit quicker. But Subculture by MAC um, is my favourite nude lipstick. Well it always has been, there are a few more that I've discovered in recent months or years that um, you know I just haven't used enough to go through but this is the one that I've traditionally always repurchased and um, probably still probably will always at some stage then um, another lip product would be prep and prime lip I'd say for personal use I'm on maybe my third now and um, I always use this for underneath lip liner and lipstick the only thing is I'm not using colors on my lips quite as much lately because of the braces but um, I've still gone through loads of these and I go through a million of them for my kit as well so they're brilliant for just making your lipstick last much longer and all your lip colors and stuff like that and it's 16.50 in Ireland from MAC um, one thing that I have been wearing loads especially since getting my li uh, braces in would be this the lip smacker the coca-cola cherry one um, I get this from pennies for like a few quid and I like it because it does give a bit of a colour to my lips without um, having it transfer onto my braces and it doesn't look overly done because it's more of a tint it, and it smells amazing so I'm on my third one of this I have I got two initially and then I started to run out of one and you know I just kind of always want to have one to hand so that's why I love this and the cherry cola one is the one that I always go for I don't really I'm not overly crazy about the other ones I'm on my um, second part now of the Clinique All About Eyes um, uh, eye gel. It's like an eye cream. Um, this one is really good. It's just the one that I find doesn't leave a residue. It sinks really well into the skin and it, I find it kind of plumps it up and just makes it feel really moisturised, which is what you want. You just want hydration there more than anything else. So this one uh, reduces circles and puffs. So... I don't really know that about too much about that because I don't really get that puffy but I just love it and it's not scented that's what I love about Clinique it's very um 
natural, fragrance free, colour free and all that kind of stuff. And then the only other few things would be for hair products. I always go back to this for hairspray, not that I do much with my hair, but anytime I do, it would be the L'Oreal um, El Net Satin Hairspray. So this is just, it's not too expensive, you can get it in pretty much any shop that sells beauty stuff or hair stuff. And um, I like this big size as well because it lasts for ages and you can go through it, not worrying about um, wasting it, you can use loads. And then I'd say I'm on my third Tony and Guy um, Iron It Heat Defense Spray, which is just like a um, kind of like a spray. You can use it as a leave-in conditioner as well, but it protects against uh, heat damage when it comes to styling and hair drying and stuff like that. And then the last thing, and this is the thing that I would go through quicker than anything else um, that I own whatsoever, and it's the Mac Brush Cleanser. I have I think about. Um, maybe 12 em empty bottles of it there in my little empties um, basket and I'll I probably have to buy a couple of these every two to three weeks so um, it's the one I always go back to it I think is the best for spot cleaning when I keep on top of my spot cleaning I don't have to do as much deep cleaning and stuff like that and it's pretty fairly priced it's 12 euro here in Ireland as well what I do is pop it into a spray bottle so I find that there's much less wastage when I do that and that's the last yeah that's the definitely the last of the products that I picked out I'm sure I missed stuff but that's plenty enough for now so um I think these are really helpful videos because you know what really works for people if they're going back and buying them so I'd love to see your versions of these videos if you do want to do one and you can leave it below as a, a video response but um yeah in the meantime thanks a million for watching guys and I'll chat to you all really soon Slan.